Hey guys, uh, today we are going to solve a differential equation question which is written here x square y double derivative minus 4x y derivative plus 6y equal to x cube. First we recognize what kind of differential equation is this since it is a variable coefficients and here it is also a non-homogeneous differential equation. It is a cosy Euler cosy uh, Euler differential equation sometimes we call it also the Euler equation. So today in this video, I will show you the very easy three steps by which you can solve any cosy Euler equation without any doubt and confusion. So please be with me till the last of this video. You will get a lot of things to come to know about the salt forms, formula and the steps. So let us proceed. Here as I have written put x equal to e to the power z implies taking the log both sides z is equal to log x implies dz over dx equal to 1 upon x that means by derivative of this this is our first step now after this we are going to perform second steps so you need to be very careful about that that step and it is very interesting as well i have written here the second step because it is very common that's why i have written it separately now since uh, by derivative z equal to lag x we got 1 upon x equal to dz over dx now since dy over dx equal to dy over dz into dz over dx by the chain rule so simply dy over dx equal to dy over dz into dz over dx the value 1 upon x which is from here by cross multiplication we get this x dy over dx equal to dy over dz implies since we know that the derivative is denoted by capital D hence xd is equal to d1y this is d1y and d1 is equal to d over dz understood d over dz so similarly we can get for the second term uh, second derivative that means it was for first x dy over dx that means x square d2y over dx square so this will be the d1 into d1 minus 1 y so you can find it it's very easy not a very tough job so i have written directly here but i saw uh, i have written here the full steps for the first one now we are going to use these two this one and this one so our next step would be putting the value so what we get here we get d1 d1 minus 1 minus 4 d1 plus 6 y is equal to e to power 3z understood because we take y outside and x cube because x equal to 3 uh, e to the power z implies x cube equal to e to the power 3z after simplifying this we get d1 square minus 5 d1 plus 6 y is equal to e to the power 3z now its auxiliary equation auxiliary equation will be its auxiliary equation will be m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 implies m minus 3 m minus 2 equal to 0 implies m equal to 3 2 so there are two roots 3 and 2 now cf that is complementary function will be cn uh, c1 e to power m1x that means 3x plus c2 e to power m2x that means 2x so this is our complementary function now i am going to find the particular integral so here 1 upon d minus 3 d minus 2 into e to power 3z because our the right hand value is e to power 3z implies 1 upon d minus 3 1 upon d minus 2 e to power 3z which is 1 upon d minus 3 into 1 upon 3 minus 2 e to power 3z please don't panic i will uh, later uh, tell you how i got this one okay so 1 upon d minus 3 e to power 3z is equal to z e to power 3z upon 1 factorial is equal to z e to power 3z so here you uh, there will be the two basic questions how you put 3 how you got this 
after this step now here i am going to tell you two very important formula which you need to remember where where you are going to apply uh, where were uh, in any exam whether it is a jam or any csir exam this is very helpful which is 1 upon fd e to power ax is equal to 1 upon fa into e to power ax provided fa does not equal to 0 this is our first formula and second formula is that 1 upon d minus a to the power r e to power ax equal to x to the power r into ax upon factorial r this is our second formula so here see uh, if we take this term so 1 upon d minus 2 into e to power 3z so fd that means put the value of a in this to, uh, at the place of, uh, in the place of d so if we put 3 then 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 that means fd is not equal to 0 by putting okay if that means fa does not equal to 0 hence we can use this formula in this step that's why i put now use this formula in this step d minus a to power r d minus a to power r r value is equal to 1 e to power ax e to power ax that means a is equal to 3 so x to the power r since here uh, x and here z so z to the power r will be z to power 1 into e to power ax that means e to power 3z upon r factorial that means factorial 1 so hope you have understood how we get and got these two steps now the solution will be solution y uh, solution will be y is equal to cf plus pi okay which is c1 e to power 3z plus c2 e to power 2z plus what we got here z e to power 3z but wait here our question is given in the form of x and y hence we cannot uh, leave it here otherwise marks will be detected so y x equal to c1 x cube plus c2 x square plus log x into x cube this is our final answer that means i have put the values uh, that means uh, e to power 3z here x cube e to power 2z x square and uh, similarly uh, z is equal to log x and e to power 3z is equal to x cube so this is our final answer so uh, hope you have understood it very well if you have any confusion or any uh, other questions please mention in comment box and uh, hope you have liked it this is very useful and important formula for further any examination i will be posting so many questions from the higher mathematics as well as also from the basic mathematics please keep on watching this channel uh, for any um, for more interesting video we will meet you very soon in next video till then thank you bye bye